Hey everyone, so here is a question on square and square root and the question is find the least number that must be added to 6412 to make it perfect square. Means this number 6412 is not a perfect square. We need to add a smallest number or the least number to make this number perfect square. So how we can do this uh, problem? So we have to go by the long division method for solving such kind of problem. Now long division is a different than normal regular division what we do. So let's see what or how to solve this. So I'm going to take this in a division form. I'm going to enter the number inside. So here we have 6412. Now you might have learned that in the long division the very first thing you should do is pairing up pair the numbers from the right hand side so 12 is a one pair and 64 is a another pair now let's start dividing this well the question here is what will be the divisor we have to select the divisor for every step here now the divisor will be the number the, squ the divisor square should be near to 64 means we have to find out perfect square near 64 it can be equal to 64 or less than 64 so we know that 7 square is 49 and 8 square is 64 and 9 square is 81 so like I told you we have to find out perfect square near to 64 or less than that so already we have a 64 which is perfect square so let's take 8 over here so I'm gonna write down 8 8 a 64 so I wrote 8 in the divisor and you also write 8 in the quotient now let's subtract this so when we subtract we'll get 0 now I'm gonna drop this entire 12 all right so I'm not gonna drop 1 but the entire pair which is 12 so the first step is over now again for this step we have to find out again a new divisor now how to get it so the divisor can be found in a two steps that is the first one is we have to take a twice of what we have in the quotient here I have 8 so twice of 8 is 16 or double of 8 8 to the is 16 so I'll take 16 here now it's still not yet over I have to find out the unit digit now this unit digit should be equal to the new quotient what we are gonna write down here so the new digit in the question and the new digit or the ones digit in the divisor has to be equal means let me take 16 okay 161 means the ones digit I have taken 1 so my question has to be 1 only so if I have taken 1 here so it's like 161 multiplied by 1 we will get 161 see 1 is a small number when I'm multiplying I'm, I'm getting 161 but here we have a 12 so we want a number less than 12 so the last chance what we have is 0 so 160 multiplied by 0 so we're gonna get 0 here right so my new digit in the uh, this divisor is 0 and the new digit in the quotient here is also 0 good so 160 0 is a 0 so let's subtract it we got again 12 now see here we're getting a remainder 12 it means this number is a uh, not a perfect square and uh, less than this number is 80 like 80 square is a uh, perfect square okay we, we know that long division method is normally used to find out the square root so we're not getting a square root because remainder is left so what we can conclude from here is I'll just write down here we got 80 in the quotient it means 80 square okay which is nothing but 6400 is less than 6412 now so 6400 is a perfect square which is less than 6412 but they're asking us to write find out the least number to be added means I need to add something to this I cannot I don't have to subtract if I have to subtract just remove 12 from here I'll get this number which is perfect square 
I have to add means I have to add something so the greater than this number will be nothing but next perfect square which will be nothing but 81 square yes after 80 will get 81 so 81 square will be the next perfect square so what is 81 square 81 square you can just find out by multiplying it it is nothing but 6561 so 6561 is a next perfect square after 6412 so that's it we almost reached the answer now let us read the question once again they are asking us to find out the least number that must be added so we let's see how much we have to add from to 6412 to get 6561 so just simply subtract them so 6561 minus 6412 so when we subtract this we will get 149 So the least number is nothing but 149. So if I add 149, I'll get perfect square. So therefore, least number to be added is 149. Now in case you're asking to find out the square root also, it's very simple. Just add 6, 4, 1, 2 plus 149 and you will get 6561 you don't have to find out square root just simply write down square root of 6561 is nothing but 81 that's it so i hope it's clear in case you have any doubt or question you can drop a comment below and i'll try to answer that by making a video or i'll just type it down in the reply itself thank you so much for watching